I offer my prayers and salutations to Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba, the founder chancellor of this divine university, Honorable President of India, Srimati Draupati Murmuji, Srimati K. V. Usharani Charan, Minister for Women, Children, Differently Abled and Senior Citizens Welfare, Shri K. Chakravarti, Chancellor, Shri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning, Professor B. Raghavendra Prasad, Vice Chancellor, Shri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning, all distinguished dignitaries, learned members of the faculty, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, and my dear young students and their proud parents. Sairam to you all. It gives me immense pleasure to be amongst the August gathering here today and to participate in the 42nd convocation of Sri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning, an institute which has been a beacon of light for value-based integral education in this country. I extend my hearty congratulations to all the gradu graduates passing out of the portals of this reputed institution. I believe that this unique model of education as envisioned and christened by the revered founder chancellor Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba of molding the students as individuals who are professionally sound, socially responsible, and spiritually aware is making a positive impact on the society. Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba once said, and I quote, in this university, the medium of, instru medium of instruction is discipline. The first and the second and the third languages are love, service, and sadhana, unquote. My advice to all the young students graduating today is that you have a greater responsibility of living up to the message of true education when you go out into the world. The ethos of selfless service learned by you all in this esteemed institution are all the, mo all the more important in the present day world. From the times of yore, Bharat has been promoting peace and security in the world through its spiritual message. The quintessence of that message is contained in the age-old saying, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu, meaning, let the entire world be happy. The culture of Bharat is based on the eternal truth, which is unaffected by time and place unchanged by circumstances, untamed by historical changes, and untouched by natural calamities. I am happy to know that Sri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning has integrated ethics and values as the undercurrent of every subject taught at this deemed-to-be university. Combined with academic excellence, the deemed-to-be University provided a holistic framework of interpersonal and intrapersonal development of its students. Its residential character trains the mind, body, and spirit of students in an environment similar to the ancient Indian Gurukula system of education. In the most modern context, it helps to develop strong character and positive qualities in the students and nurtures in them virtues like adaptability, tolerance, and sacrifice, shaping them into noble and responsible citizens. Our ancient Indian tradition exhorts us to consider the whole world as one family in the true spirit of Vasudeva Kutumbakam. In the words of Adi Shankarajarya, Swadesho Bhuvanatrayam, 
all the three worlds of our motherland which reads it reiterates the global thought the most outstanding quality of the ancient indian educational system is humility almost all ancient works of literature and fine fine arts have no known authors the painters of ajanta the sculptors of mahabalipuram and the seers of smrut smritis and shrutis have always remained anonymous the greatest objective of the university education is to instill into its alumni the quality of humility and an ever ready willingness to listen and learn here it is apt to recall the well known sanskrit saying vidya dadati vinayam vinaya dadati patra patra patratam patratva dhana mahapati noti dhanat dharmam talat sukham meaning knowledge gives you discipline discipline comes from worthiness from worthiness one can get wealth and from wealth one can do good deeds and from the combination of all these things can you can can make you to feel pleasant and joyful in a similar quote the english poet shelley said and i quote the more we study the more we study the more we discover our ignorance students should imbibe the qualities of valor and courage you should emulate such people who strove for the glow of indian culture you should resolve to uphold dharma and work for the welfare of the country and adhere to dharma i would like to conclude with a shloka that resonates well with everything dharme sarvam pratishtitam tasmad dharmam paramam vadanti dharma eva hato hanti dharmo rakshati rakshitah which means everything is in this world is found on dharma hence it is ultimate supreme one who destroys dharma is destroyed by dharma one who protects dharma is protected by dharma i seek the blessings of the revered bhagwan shri satya sai baba and extend my best wishes to this year's graduate students to succeed in their professional and personal lives thank you all jai hind